right, a tough day for the Dow anyway. It's eighth down day in a row, but retail stocks taking a hit on the Supreme Court right now, saying you cannot uh, escape online taxes, uh, even if you're not uh, in, in the particular state where the online taxes are imposed. Uh, bottom line is what it means is that uh, the tax man will get you no matter, no matter what. And for a lot of states, it's going to open up potentially billions in revenue that they're going to quickly use to spend some dough. Uh, Charles Payne has been studying the whole phenomenon. What exactly did the Supreme Court say, Charles? Uh, Neil, uh, before this, uh, there was a, a sort of de facto look the other way where uh, the online retailers could could actually do business in the state. And if they didn't have a physical presence there, well, they didn't have to pay the state taxes. Nevertheless, a lot of the big names have. But I will tell you, you know, this, this whole thing, this whole notion of this ruling today has been in the making for more than two decades. And even though we got it today, it's sent shockwaves throughout the entire retail sector, but also to most people out there because most people want to fit, want to figure out what it means for them. So what well, we sent out someone to do, a man and woman on the street, to get the feel from the public. Take a listen. That's why I did a lot of my online shopping. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I could avoid that tax. Sales tax is a good thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. More tax, that's right, less we pay in income yeah. tax. If it's not cheaper to shop online, I would probably be more likely to go into the store, yes. I don't shop online to avoid sales tax, more just to like avoid lines and like to get my things as soon as possible. I feel bad about the brick and mortar because I think it's such a... I mean, it's, you know, it's jobs, but then the online jobs create jobs, too. It's really going to hurt us, especially the small businesses. Yeah. You know, they're already getting us. The big guys are getting us in the grocery store. Now online, come on. So, so Neil, you heard a mixture there. And here's the interesting thing. I think some of the winners today are brick-and-mortar names, the big ones, you know, the ones who have perfected what they call omni-channel, using the Internet, using their physical presence. Obviously, to your point, states are big winners with up to $14 billion in taxes they did not collect last year. And then, of course, there are these big names like the Amazons of the world. That's a winner because now, effectively, what we have is a moat around these big established names that will hurt future competition. All right, buddy, if you can stay right there, because uh, I want to bring up uh, some, some keen guests in the mix here. And I have a different view on this than a lot of people. I want to focus on the fact that this, forget about the revenue raise, will make it too easy for the states and municipalities. Uh, to forget about trying to rein in spending. This is all about getting more money so they can have more spending. So let's get uh, Market Watchers, Heath uh, Herzog and Melissa Armo. Um, what do you make, Melissa, ending with you, that what this is is a green light for for just getting more money, uh, whatever the means, and not doing anything to, to look at your spending? Yeah, that's the problem. I Really, listen, we spend a lot in taxes. If you live in New York, you're taxed in New York State, you're taxed in the city. There's a New York City tax. I don't mind paying my fair share. What I have a problem with is the way that they spend it. They're, they don't, they're not thoughtful about how they spend money. Look at California. I mean, the state's almost going bankrupt. So now they're going to have all this money coming in. Right. And guess what? They're not going to care then as much as how they're spending it. You know, if I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, all right, it wasn't too long ago we got the, you know, online gambling uh, tax that's been approved. And, and all of a sudden, that's going to mean a lot of money in New Jersey. They were already spending that money it's not even in yet um, now this uh, uh, I'm just wondering how far this goes because if, if anything forget about whether it's justified or not it's another excuse not to rein in spending right well we've always seen this swampy activity happen across states but a lot of these states don't have income tax imposed right. so what they're doing is increasing the sales tax in order to compensate for that loss in income tax so i think in the dissent most states have some sort of income right, tax, and right. this is on top of that well so in kennedy's uh in in his opinion he was saying it was somewhere between justice kennedy justice kennedy yes uh between it was eight between eight and 33 billion dollars that these states are going to be coming bringing in in terms of revenue right. with these sales taxes. Uh, I don't think consumers are really going to change their behavior. I've been covering this for 10 years. Yeah. You know, now that people can sit on their sofas and surf the web, purchase a little bit of sales tax on their favorite items isn't going to no, deter I, them I fully agree from with shopping. That. I, and you know, Charles, I mean, you and I were talking about this. The convenience of online shopping is such that uh, people, uh, especially in the early days when Amazon was prohibitively more expensive than traditional retailers, but it was so darn easy to use, people really didn't care. Uh, so I'm, I'm wondering whether it will make a difference for some of these uh, online guys, Amazon chief among them, uh, how do you break apart the, the players who get hurt versus those? Eh, not so much. Amazon doesn't get hurt. Uh, pretty soon they'll have drones delivering stuff to our house we didn't even order, but once we get it, we'll be so happy. Like, how the heck did they know that? 
Uh, I, I do worry about the entrepreneurs or the what I call the side hustle folks, right? People selling on Etsy, people selling on eBay. Uh, look at those stocks today. They took the biggest hits. And uh, yeah, well, so are you responsible for that? If you have an item you put up on eBay and you sell it, and you have to pay attention. Wait a minute, I don't have operations in that state, but I gotta pay the sales tax or, or deal with that for that state. Well, this is why Overstock and a couple others are saying that Congress needs to make it define this. Now, South Dakota, which brought this case, already had set their limits at 100,000 in revenue in, in, in sales or 200 uh, transactions. So that's their bar. I think I that see. bar is relatively low. We need a universal bar, perhaps, but it's it's going to hurt just regular folks out there. Someone who's been making ends meet by selling things on eBay, this is a serious blow to them, I think. What about for retail spending in general? You've been impressed with most of this recovery and everything else that's going on. Does this dampen it or the prospect of taxes dampen? Well, I have to be honest with you, it's early in the year, but some of these retail companies have had a great start to the year, considering the way the market's traded out right. this year. Target looks great, it's near the highs. Kohl's looks great, they both got a lift today. Walmart doesn't look so great, but they really look great, considering usually, you know, have Black Friday, usually retailers are, that's where Black Friday came from. The They're in the red high. until Black Friday. Right now, these stocks are green. Right? Right. They're yeah. up. Monthly retail sales have been on the up. For the last couple months. here that focuses on some state taxes is going to change it, though. I mean, I, to Charles' point, it is going to be a little complicated from state to state because each state is going to have their own set of taxes. So if you are a smaller retailer, you're going to have to deal with all of those different tax rules. Well, what do you think of Amazon, I think, was preparing to Charles' point for this day because it's now in 45 states where it used to sort of the criticism was that it was a behemoth that ran away from this responsibility. Now it's everywhere. Um, that is the uh, the genius and also the bane of existence for these smaller yeah. retailers that Amazon is able to see around corners that way. All right, guys, thank you all very, yeah. very much. Um, Charles Payne, of course, gets all his suits online. Uh, they're beautiful. <laughs> they're just impeccable. He never, I, I, I defy you to watch. He never repeats one. They're so beautiful. All right, uh, in the meantime, the president now telling Democrats, Come on down, stop by, visit. Maybe we can get something done. I haven't heard a reaction after this. This is a story about mail and packages. And it's also a story about people. People who rely on us every day to deliver their dreams. They're handing us more than mail. They're